When I first started using the high level, onboarding clients literally took me days. It felt like that was the only thing that I was doing. And the worst part, after spending all of that time with one customer, I would have to do the same thing with the next and the next, and it was just not scalable. I was totally drained. And the truth is high level alone is not gonna help you keep your customers happy. We know that a good first impression is literally the last impression. And without a good onboarding system, it can feel extremely overwhelming and confusing, which is gonna lead to buyer's remorse immediately. But don't worry, I'm here to help. I'm Sharon, the CMO of Extendly, and in this video, we're gonna cover the best way to onboard your clients using High Level. By the end, you'll know the do's and don'ts of onboarding, the exact steps of the onboarding journey, and exactly how our two-call system works. This way, you won't be stuck in a complicated process that causes complaints and headaches. That's the quickest way to lose a client. Extendly has now helped onboard over 10,500 clients using our two call system. And if you work with us, we'll even handle the onboarding for you. Now let's get into the do's and don'ts of onboarding clients. Number one, you want to personalize the onboarding experience. Once your customer comes on to that onboarding call, make them feel welcomed, know their name and ask them about what their goals are, how they're going to use this platform. Number two, set clear expectations. Be extremely realistic with them. Tell them exactly what they have to do to win. Next, offer them quick wins. That first 72 hours is your chance to really wow them. So on that onboarding call, get things set up that they can begin using immediately. The fourth do is to make support easily accessible. Clients shouldn't have to guess when they can email you or how they can get help. The easier you make things for them from the start, the longer they'll stay with you. And lastly, implement automated wording sequences. Yes, this is going to seem very different from our first point, but it is very important. If you don't automate things, you won't be able to grow and scale your business. You don't want to spend all of your time onboarding clients that only paid you 300 bucks. And now the five don'ts. Do not overwhelm the customer. GHL is already complicated enough. Don't show them all the 500 features and things that it can do. Keep it simple. Next, do not delay the onboarding process. If you wait weeks, even days after some someone buys, they are going to have a terrible experience and they're going to want their money back immediately. Try to get the onboarding done within the first 48 to 72 hours. Next, do not bog the client down with extra information that they don't need and won't remember. The fourth don't is do not use complex language to make it sound sexier. Think about it like this. If your toilet breaks, you don't care how the plumber fixes it. You just want it fixed. So keep it really simple. Talk in a language that they will understand. And the last thing on the don't list, do not neglect the human touch. Make sure your clients understand that you really care about them, that you're invested in their business and that you're here to help them win and help them succeed. A great onboarding is going to get that across. Now, with all of that in mind, let's go over what the eight step process looks like when we're actually onboarding clients. We figured this process out through trial and error. We have now onboarded over 10,500 white label clients and we've put together this process from expertly onboarding each of these clients. I'm going to take you guys through our customer onboarding journey, step by step, everything that your client goes through when they're getting onboarded. And this is what we figured out to be the best way to onboard a client into high level so that they actually stick around, have a good time and don't churn after a few months. Step one. This happens right after somebody purchases from you. Right after they purchase, the next page that they see is this explainer video. This is a simple thank you page that tells them what they can expect next. Remember, one of the things that we want to do is set clear expectations. This video helps you do that. In this video, first you wanna welcome the customer and create excitement. They just bought your software, get them really excited on using it now. And next, you wanna explain the next steps very clearly. In the next few days, what can they expect? What are you going to do to help them get started? And what do they need to do on their side? So set those expectations very clearly in this video. This video is presented to them in three ways. One, right after they check out, they see this page automatically, as well as in their welcome email, they receive this link. And in their welcome text message, they receive this link as well. So there's no chance that they can miss this video. After that, we 
we start our pre-onboarding intake form. So as a part of making sure that your customer's experience is personalized, you want to actually gather all of their information up front. We do that through this form. We capture their business name, their logo, what phone number they want, what area code they wanted, and a slew of other information that helps us to set up their sub account before they ever even hop onto a call with us. Our team literally takes this information, logs into your high level account, customizes the account so that on the first call with us, your customer walks into an account that is already set up and personalized for them. How amazing is that? The very next step is we ask them to schedule a tech call. Instead of just offering one call within the onboarding process, we actually offer two. We figured out that one call is just too overwhelming for customers with the amount of information and setup that's required in high level. So we break that into more digestible information with our two call system. The first call is a technical setup call and the next call is our training call. The first tech call, we set up things like domains. We do the ATP registration for you so you never have to worry about that horrific thing again. We will set them up with a dedicated email domain, connect all of their social profiles and a slew of other things to make sure from a technical perspective, their sub account is set up. And if you have a snapshot that has any custom values, we'll help fill out those custom values on this tech call. Then we invite them back to have a second call. Now this is their training call. We will work with you to figure out what we need to train on this call, but we focus on five key features. These are gonna be the five key features that your client is gonna find the most value out of. Quick wins that they can immediately start using and seeing value from. We'll run them through examples of how to send a text message, how to send an email. If you tell us that, hey, I really want my customer to know how to create an email campaign, we'll show them step-by-step step if they were in this platform tomorrow without us exactly what they would do. The intention here is that once we walk away from these two calls and your customer gets into the platform tomorrow, they should know exactly what to do and be comfortable moving around the platform. After we do these two calls, we send you all of the recording and our notes so that you get the opportunity to view how your clients were onboarded and give us any feedback as well. It's important that you are happy with the service that we provide. That's why we're this transparent and we welcome all the feedback and suggestions that you have for us because we'll use that to continue to tailor this onboarding process so that it is perfect for you your agency. Now, the next step is step number eight. After we've done those two calls and you get the recordings, the result is that you have a super happy customer, but we're not done just yet. We want to make sure that your customer is really enrolled into the system and they're continuing to learn all that it can do. Now we add the client to our welcome email sequence. Within this sequence, they receive one email every single day for seven days. This is an example of what those emails look like. In each of these emails, we're giving them a little bit more information about what the platform can do. For example, here we're telling them about the conversation manager, how it works. We include a pro tip and we tell them to go here and start taking action. After that is when we begin our check-in sequence. We do a 1430, 60 and 90 day check-in sequence. And these are really short messages with an email and text message that just show that your customer that you really care about them, right? Here's an example of one of them. Hey, Hey, you've been with us for two weeks now. Is there anything that we can improve on? That goes on for the first 90 days. And this is an opportunity for you as well to capture any possible churn early on before it turns into a cancellation. Now you know the best way to onboard your clients using High Level. Having a system like this is really, really important. If you follow all these steps I've shared with you, I believe you can manage the onboarding process successfully. At Extendly, we understand that growing your SaaS business can be really tricky, but here's the good news. You don't have to figure this all out on your own. When you work with us, we handle the onboarding for you so you can focus on growing your business without worrying about the details. If you're ready to streamline your onboarding process and ensure your clients stay with you for the long term, click the link in the description to learn more about how we can help.